What is up, YouTube? This is Asian with Cards, and today I'm going to be profiling my Vanadium deck. I know this isn't really like a deck I normally play. I'm usually playing like control decks or like trap decks, but I uh, found this deck um, pretty interesting to play. I know it's like pretty, uh, pretty linear with all its combos, um, but I like the way the deck played. I like all the field spells it plays, all the one card combos. Uh, so I decided to pick it up and play it for the first time uh, locals last week, and I went uh, X1, I believe. Uh, and I made top eight. So, uh, yes, I mean, top eight at our locals. But we had a big locals, like 40-plus people. Uh, but, yeah, that's not nothing to brag about or anything. Uh, but, yeah, I had fun with the deck. I'm gonna, definitely going to make some changes. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'll let you uh, – I'll show you my profile. And um, I played against two fire decks, um, one of them I tied with and the other one I beat. So I can't really say too much about, like, how the match up was because I was, like, going time testing against fire, the fire decks. Um, but if you go first, like generally, you can make an unbreakable board, and it's pretty hard for your opponent to break through that. And against like all the other rogue decks, it's pretty good against like lab. If you go first, even like going going second against lab, you can like push through their a lot of their interruptions. So yeah, in my opinion, this deck's pretty good. Um, a lot of people like the misconception is this deck loses to droll pretty hard, but um, if you open up like the one card combo, definitely loses to droll. But if you open up like uh, more some extenders or uh, talents with like in in um in conjunction with your starters, uh, you can pretty much play through a lot of things. So yeah, without further ado and rambling, I'll get on with the deck profile. Um, it is 40 cards, and I'm also not playing Fenrir on my list. I'm playing another uh, unconventional, like, unconventional um, card, which I saw some players in the OCG playing when this deck was popular. Uh, so I'll explain that when I get to it. So yeah, sorry for the uh, almost two-minute rambling. Uh, so for starters, we play uh, two um, Samsara. I was playing this at three, but um, I feel like drawing it at multiples is kind of bad, even though you can get it out of your hand. Pretty quickly um, a lot of experienced players when they play against this deck they won't um let you get the sarfrost engraved to like extend with this so i think two is just fine and the one card combos of this isn't really like that um impressive so i think the, the three is fine or the two is fine i uh, triple room heart uh this card's the best card in the deck uh gets you through your engine um also can help you dodge hand traps with its uh effect of special summon itself uh so card's really good and then i play uh triple right card out of standard just gets you a monster reborn pretty much uh, really good monster. Also, these guys have really good stats. Like, they have, like, 2,100 defense, like, 1,500 attack. Uh, they're pretty beefy, and they're both warriors, so uh, you can search them with your uh, uh, Roto, which is pretty cool. And then I play Triple Star Frost. Uh, I was playing this at 2 originally, but, um, like, opening this card is not that bad. Because then if you get drolled, like, by one of your field spells, uh, just being able to, like, hard open this is pretty good because you can start comboing off and make, like, uh, rank 10 plays. Uh, let's see, for the... I call these, like, quote-unquote, like, starter-ish cards... I know Vsys is not a starter, but it's, like, the main card of the deck, so I'll put it there. I uh, play Triple Meek. Um, going forward, I'm going to test out another build I saw that um, was pretty more focused on, like, Vanadium cards. Like, I play Torrid, so I might test out the other cards in the later video. But for now, I think Meek's fine. And then the engine that I'm playing instead of Fenrir and uh, the Scarecrow Cache, uh, I'm playing Triple Hero Lives and the One Prisma. The only time where this engine's terrible, obviously, was like, I think my last round, uh, game two, I opened the Prisma and the Hero Lives. Um, so that's pretty bad because like you can't really do this from hand. And also I had a Room Heart in hand, so I didn't want to normal summon Prisma because this is a better normal summon. But um, nonetheless, um, what Hero Lives gives you is it gives you a um, a card to bait out um, like Droll, and also it's a uh, you can make Baron under four summons. So it insulates your combo. Because if you have like this plus Room Heart, it's like full combo um, through Nib, which is really cool. Uh, and a lot of times if your opponent drolls you, you can still end on like a couple interruptions. Um, and obviously game or going uh, going second, you can obviously side this out. So it's pretty good. Uh, but a lot of times like um, game one when I went second, like when I actually hero lives, I, like they, it baits out an interruption and then you're able to like play with your other cards. So drawing this going second isn't too bad, but obviously you side it out going second. So that's it for the monster cards. I guess, like, monster starters slash, like, engine. And uh, then for the spell cards and, like, slash field spells and stuff, we have uh, Triple Clarium. I'm pretty hyped that this is going to come as a QCR. I think that's really cool. Uh, but, yeah, this card's um, insane. A lot of times, even if you get drolled, I still activate it just so you can use the secondary effect to uh, special summon your meek again. So it's really good. And, um, yeah, pretty good card. And then I play the one Imagining and two Obsession. Um, I like Imagining a lot better because a lot of times when you – um you have obsession you actually you have your engine going already and imagining just gets you like to more like non-engine cards but uh they're all good in their own regards i think uh this ratio is fine and i play the one roto to search out your starters uh one terraforming to get you your field spells and then for scareclaw cards uh the two reich phobia and the uh, two arrival i've seen a lot of people play um the, the other fields but like the um 
um, the tier element one or the uh, cash tier one. The cash tier one is not really good in my opinion because he doesn't search Visas. And the Pearl Arena, the uh, tier one, it just plays into Ashmore, which I know like this does play into Ashmore, um, but it doesn't really do anything. It just gets you Visas, which I play three, so I don't really need to see that card that often. So that's my reason for that. And then the uh, one reframing. I'm really glad this came super. This card looks gorgeous. Um, that's a super. So yeah, just one reframing. Uh, this card's crazy. Just end on like, uh, like a Baron Appaloosa SP plus a reframing. So it's like your board's like unbreakable at that point. Like they, they have to have through mode to beat you because Dark Ruler won't beat you. Droplets won't beat you. Uh, and a lot of decks are going to pitch an Imperm because they're, they're just going to save their Imperm or use their Imperm on your first turn. So yeah, reframing is just an yeah, insane card. There's even some times where I've kept this in going first or going second against like certain decks. Because if you can like break their board and then end on reframing, you pretty much just win. So that's that. And then for non-engine cards, uh, Triple Ash. I watched a video and I did not realize that this conflicts your combo. Because um, if you activate um, Calarium with this engrave, your room heart becomes 1600. And it doesn't uh, fulfill the requirement to summon Meek. So yeah, I'm probably going to cut this for Droll or something else in the main deck. Because it, it conflicts, which a lot of people like don't really realize that. Uh, but it is kind of like soft cheating. So I'm going to change that around. And then I play Triple Droplet. Uh, just because I just wanted something going second that I can draw as my sixth card. And also, uh, going first, you can set this, and it's still really good to uh, as an extra disruption. Like, if your opponent plays around your Appaloosa and, like, it has no negates, you can, like, tribute this and negate something else. Or, like, if they negate your Baron with, like, an Imperm or something, you can, like, chain this. So it's, like, a negate. And then we have two Talents and the uh, one Call By. Um, I was playing triple Talents, but I run play Call By just because I'm um, going uh, second against Fire Kings. It can, like, stop the uh, Princess. So yeah, that's it for the main deck. It is 40 cards, I believe. And then for extra deck, we have two actual loud. There's some instances where I'd want to play uh, three of this card because you go two, you go use two in your first combo. Normally, like if you like fully extend, you use two. Um, but yeah, three's sort of cool because you can like in the grind game, you can like make a third one. But um, this deck isn't supposed to grind, so I understand why people only play two. Uh, two Lightheart. Um, standard, you need to see your uh, Reichphobia. Uh, one Cross Shoot for the combo, uh, standard. Uh, one Little Knight, um, it's usually your end board. Um, being able to banish the Asher Loud is cool in your combo, so you can like reuse it, so it's like technically a third copy. Uh, the one Appaloosa, I love playing this card. Like I didn't really, I've, I rarely play a deck with Appaloosa, but this card's just so broken. A lot of decks just like scoop, because uh, it's, it's so good. This card's uh, insane, you guys probably know already. And then we have for the uh, Synchros, uh, this guy, the... Level six that search that starts your combo off, um, the Amritara to search your reframing. A lot of times too, um, depending on your hand, if you don't really want to search reframing, you can also search your uh, obsession or your imagining if you want to. So and it's um it's treated as a uh, visa, so you could always just link off into your uh, light hearts and stuff, which you guys probably already know. Like if you play the deck, you you know all the combos, so I don't really need to explain. Uh, the one Excel Synchro, Stardust Dragon. I rarely go into this card, but I know why it's in there for, like, the Awkward Hands. Um, and I've only played this deck for a little bit. Like, I played it a little bit on DB and then, like, once at Locals. So I can't really say, like, oh, this card's bad because I never make it. But, um, yeah, just in my opinion. Uh, one Baron. Make this card every game, honestly. This card's, like, the, probably the best Synchro in the game right now. It's just an uh, insane card. Uh, one Dispatter. This card's crazy also. I think all these cards are crazy, honestly. Like, your end board is just insane with this deck. Uh, one Chen Ying, I think that's his name, right? This is the Chen Ying. Yeah, this card's crazy against Fire King. They literally, like, like the Fire Deck, like, this card just obliterates the Fire Deck. And the one Chaos Angel, shout out to the uh, ulti. It's really cool. Uh, I see a lot of people cutting this card and playing the um, the Ice Shade level 10, um, which is fine, too. But I like the interaction when you have this and SP, so they can't beat over your SP, which is really cool. I think that's a, a cool combo line there. And then the one uh, Crimson Dragon uh, to get your Dispatter. Um, so in the future, I definitely want to try the Turn Skip build, which I know is like kind of like cancerous, but I definitely want to try it because it looks fun. Um, so I might try that build later on. But for now, that's what I'm using. And uh, yeah, let's clean this mess up here. I can show you guys the side deck. The side deck's pretty preliminary right now. I'm not sure like what's really good, but uh, yeah, for starters, uh, Triple Droll against like the Mirror Match. It can be good against the Pure Snake Eyes deck, um, good against Flu. There's always like a Flu player by local, so I'm bound to see that. Uh, Triple Bell, I just wanted um, something else against um, Labyrinth. And also, if you draw this with Nib, I just realized it can like stop a full, to some extent, like Snake Eyes deck. Because you can Nib them, and then when they try and bring back Princess, you can just, uh, or when they try to bring back with Princess, you can just Bell them. So that's pretty cool. 
I want Statue. This is my 15th card. I didn't really know what to play. Um, and I was like, I'm just going to put this in my deck. Because who knows? Like, going second, you can, like, steal something. Like, against the, um, I guess, like, the Fire King deck, it doesn't sound that bad. You can, you can steal, like, a Flame Bird or something. Or if they make Baron or, you know, you can do something. So, it's there. Or against some um, Cash Tira, you can take a Fenrir or something. It's, yeah, it's cool. A lot of, like, my opponents are playing, like, Rogue decks. Uh, so, it's just good. Uh, one Duster and the uh, two Lightning Storm. Just against Backrow decks, against uh, Flu. Stuff like that. And then I play Triple Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, this card just destroys the Fire King deck. Um, and I go against Labyrinth 2 or any, like, Rogue decks you might play at Locals. And, yeah, two Anti-Spell. This is definitely going to be some limit in the future. Because uh, that card just overperformed. I saw in, like, the stream this weekend at Vegas. So, yeah. But this card is also pretty cool because it... It prevents you, like, so certain extents from getting, like, Dark Rulered or um, Droplet. So it could be cool, too. Um, and I guess, like, the Mirror Match, it's pretty crazy. Because um, it's a, you're playing, like, a Field Spell deck. So that card, like, obliterates that matchup. Uh, so, guys, hopefully I wasn't talking too long or rambling about this deck. Uh, it's really cool. I definitely enjoyed it. It was, like, probably the most fun I've had playing Hugo in a while. Uh, just playing this deck. Even, like, going second, like, trying to navigate through boards is really fun. So I definitely like this deck. I'm definitely going to try playing it more in the future. I'm definitely going to try that build that plays more of the uh, Manadium cards like Meek. Or not Meek, like Torrid or uh, Fearless. And also some of the other Manadium cards are pretty cool. Like the Trap card is pretty cool. Uh, the level 10 Synchro is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, um, stay tuned for that. And I'm um, going to Locals this weekend. So if I can get some profiles there, I will. And uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for all the support. I've been getting, like, uh, getting subs like every other day. So it means a lot to me, guys, because uh, I like making videos for you guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video and subscribe.